Good morning. <clears throat> I'm going to start because, as always, I have to start. I don't want it to linger on because I do share this video on my um, YouTube channel as well. So I pray that you woke today um, with zeal, with expectancy. Good morning, queen. Um, I pray that every day that you wake with um, expectancy, wake with zeal. Um, if you went to sleep last night in a funk or you woke up with a funky dream, as I tend to sometimes have, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. But um, right now, I just I'm gonna and I'm gonna open in prayer. Um, and for whoever is under the sound of my voice right now, if you have something that it's it's all of us, it happens to all of us when we lose gratitude. Um, we could have have we could have something that we have been praying for. And you could be walking in it and, you know, when the enemy gets a hold of your mind or your thought process, you'll start resenting that very thing that the Lord gave you um, when you lose gratitude for it. So I pray in the name of Jesus that whatever, whoever it is, it is under the sound of my voice that can relate with um, what it is that I'm talking about. I pray that um, that your mind just your attitude just changes to have more gratitude because um, the enemy wants to use um Whatever it is that we're going through, he wants to use it um, to just somehow cause us to be less thankful. And therefore, we take things for granted. And that's when we forfeit the things that God has, um, that we have been praying for. So I pray in the name of Jesus that this blesses you. Um, but let me open in prayer. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for today. We honor you for air in our lungs. We honor you, Father, for just dying on the cross for us, Father, for us to live with hope, prosperous prosperity, um, with always having hope, Father, that no matter what we're walking through, Lord, that you have already um, conquered everything that we need to be delivered from, that we need um, to be set free from. And I pray that everyone that is under the sound of my voice um, that leaves this video more awakened, educated, and just transformed um, to see things the way you want us to see them. Um, and I pray that I myself as may die to the flesh so, uh, so therefore I can speak through the power of the Holy Spirit that is invested in me. Um, I thank you, Father, for entrusting me with um, just to be a brand ambassador for your word, for your life, um, for the life that you have for each and every one of us. I pray that if anyone is in heartbreak, I pray that the Lord comforts you, surrounds you with his love, mercy, kindness to extend to others. We are blessed to bless others. And we thank you, Jesus, for this word. We thank you for us leaving different, ever changing, Father. You are forever the same, but we, Father, forever changing to be what you called us to be. So I pray, and it's not an accident that you're under the sound of my voice. I believe God orchestrated it this way. So in Jesus' name, have your way, Lord. <clears throat> so today is Tuesday, December 15th. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, and we're going to read under, it's 1 Corinthians 15, 39, which is all flesh is not the same flesh. The truth of creation, part four. The Bible says all flesh is not the same. There is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of animals, another of fish, and another of birds. One author writes, the Bible tells us that animals are created without understanding. Psalm 49, 20. We are made in God's image. We aren't merely a higher form of species on the evolutionary scale. As human beings, we are aware of being God is, I am. And we know that we are. We have understanding that we exist. Among other unique characteristics, we have an innate in ability to appreciate God's creation. What animal gazes with awe at the magnificence of the Grand Canyon? What animal obtains joy from the sounds of music or takes the time to form itself into an orchestra, orchestra to create and harmonize music? What animal among the beasts sets up court systems and apportions justice to its fellow creatures? We are moral beings. While birds and other creatures have instincts to create, nest, and etc., we have the ability to uncover the hidden laws of, the, of electricity. We can utilize the law of aerodynamics to transport ourselves around the globe. Thank you, Jesus. We also have the God-given ability to appreciate the value of creation. We underneath unearth, I'm sorry, the hidden treasures of gold, silver, diamonds, and oil to make use of them for our own benefit. Only humans have the unique compatibility to appreciate God for this incredible creation and to respond to his love. Yes, God created us, redeemed us, and has a special purpose for us and loves us so much that when we die, he wants to take us to heaven to live with him forever. Amen. That was a very beautiful word. Um... I get emotional. I'm sorry. Bring the Holy Spirit. Um, I get emotional because 
Um, the season that I'm walking in right now, uh, it's it, it's a rough season. However, I'm thankful. I, I, I wake and I still thank God. Like there's times where I want to like cry. And I'm like, no, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Because I know that everything passes. But um, the season that I'm walking in right now, uh, I always pray for God to give me thankfulness for everything. I mean, I would, um, something valuable has been removed from my life. And um, I always ask God, was I not thankful for, for what has been removed? But I remember, you know, waking and praying and everything for what has been removed. And what I realized is that um, when there's things that are taken from you that are very, very, good morning, uh, when things that are very valuable are taken from you, your prayers kind of change. Sometimes you don't even want to pray because you feel that, um, I don't even know why I'm going this way, but that's this Holy Spirit. You don't even want to pray anymore at times because you feel like if you pray, it'll get worse or Maybe you were grateful for something that, you know, has been removed from your life. And maybe it's God. Maybe it's the enemy. We don't know. That's God, you know. But it's up to us to pray and be thankful for what we do have. God, I thought I was going to speak on something completely different. But the Holy Spirit uh, has me in tears as always. But the one thing for you to remember is that if you have something right now in your life that that or you that has been removed from your life and it's you you valued it extremely like and it's not something that's like a boyfriend it's something that is very valuable to you that you know god gave you that this and you're like why is it not in my life right now but i will tell you this the enemy what he is after is your prayers he's after what comes out of your your mouth therefore that whatever else that you have in your life that you prayed for you will forfeit it Meaning that you prayed for a husband and um, amen, Felicia, you prayed for a husband and now your husband may be getting on your nerves or you prayed for a wife. And now that, that, you know, because something, you know, that has been removed from you very valuable. Now what the things that you've prayed for, you want to give them up because that's what the enemy does. He cannot harm you as a person. He can, he can try to take things from your life or whatever. He cannot take your life. It's like in Job. But what he can do is cause you to see things that are in fact from God. He will twist the truth for you to see it as you'll be confused. So what happens is you start seeing things that were up, down. Let's just say, I'm going to use a perfect example. I are calling on purpose. Amen. <laughs> um, you could be praying for a car, right? And you get this car. And then something happens to where your finances, you know, you can't pay that car anymore. Something happens, you lose your job. You're like, okay, Lord, you gave me this. Why are you not providing for me to have it? Or maybe I was thankful for my car. I took care of my car. However, now you don't have the means to pay for the car because something's happening. What, what that is what is the, that what God has shown me is that the en enemy likes to do. He wants to make you feel like that car is a, a burden or that child is a burden when you prayed for a child and you have a child now. Or let's say you have your children and your children are walking in a wayward season to where they're not, you know, walking right with God or they're not obeying you. And now you're like, oh, my God, this kid is causing me stress. But this is exactly what God has shown me in the season is that you prayed for something. He gave it to you. And then now you could be under attack where you feel like you don't have the means. Look, in the Bible, there was men that were given, you know, talents. You know, one got one talent. And I was listening to this morning um, something that was educating me this because I always talk about this story about the men in the Bible that were giving bags. And many of you know that, you know, you can be given a talent, but then you'll go on Instagram or Facebook and you'll see that someone else has that talent and they're doing, you know, more things with it. So therefore it makes you kind of not care about your, your talent anymore. You're like, oh, they're better. See, the enemy is a liar. For whoever it is, it is under the sound of, of my voice. The enemy is a liar. You are good at what you do. You are great. You're exceptional. You may not be perfect. You may not be as good as someone on Instagram. However, what God gave you, it's not about, I've always explained this to my clients and people that I talk to is that you could be, for instance, I'm going to use perfect. I'm going to go transparent with this. <laughs> so makeup. I've always, since I was young, I always did makeup. My grandmother told me that she saw at five or seven years old that I was very talented with makeup because when I would do my makeup um, for Halloween and stuff, people would tell her, oh, did you do that? And she would always say, hi, queen. She would always say, no, she did it. And I think I was like five or seven years old. And what God, I always wanted to get ahead of myself and like make other things. I never wanted to concentrate on makeup. I don't know why, 
But I have realized that that's a God-given talent. And what God has revealed to me is in this season, something that I valued very dear has been removed from my life. And I know it's temporarily, but what God has revealed to me is that we're all pregnant. Okay, we're all walking around with something that God called us to birth. Okay, and if you focus and take your vitamins and refine and polish whatever it is that you're supposed to give birth to, you know, that's why something sometimes is removed so it can rebirth, so it can birth something else that's inside of you. You birthed that, you took care of that, you raised it, you nurtured it. Now, you know, this, okay, let me use a perfect example, uh, a plant. You, you plant it, you know, you feed it, you water it, now you got to wait for it to sow, right? You got to wait for it to come up, to harvest. And it's the same thing with us. I, I started doing uh, makeup videos. As you can see, my makeup's done now more. <laughs> and it's because the Lord has revealed to me. It's like, what, Esme, what did I put inside of you? You know, I, I, have, I have a lot of gifts and I have a lot of talents. I will say that as, as in the Bible, um, he gave one person one talent. He gave another person five talents. And sometimes, you know, you have one talent, but you're looking at this other person that has like 10 talents and they're doing all these things and you want to compare yourself with them when God's like, no, no, no. Focus on what I gave you. And, and this is one thing I've always done and it annoys people is that when people tell me like they want to get a car or for some reason they ask my advice. I don't know why um, I'm like, don't ask my advice because I'm going to tell you something that it's either you're not going to like it or you're just going to be like, why did I ask her? So I was talking with someone one time and they were telling me, you know, I make this much and you know, it, it's a, it's a, they make like, um, let's just, I'm going to put an example. They make 60,000 a year. Okay. And they want a car. So I'm like, okay, you make 60,000 a year. How much do you make an hour? Let's, let's, let's do the numbers, right? And I'm not really good at numbers. However, my husband is, praise God. Or maybe I am, and maybe I just don't give myself enough credit. I'm sorry, forgive me. But what I realized is that I'm like, okay, let's calculate how many hours you have to work for that car, to pay that car off. You know, and they're like, um, okay, like, but that's not the, and I'm like, yeah, that's the way it works. To me, I value time. I value time. Money, we can lose it. We can um, always make it back. But what you do with your money and whatever you experience with the money, I'm getting word right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whatever you do with that money, if it's going to have a long lasting effect and um, the money that you spend, it's going to have a last, long lasting effect to where it's going to make memories or it's going to show your kids that no matter what you had, you invested it in them. That is going to be the legacy that you leave behind for your children for your clients, for your mother, your father, your, your uncle, your aunt, your Theo, your suegro, for whatever that, whatever it is that you spend your money on, make sure that it's a proper investment. Many times people have mentioned like my grandmother, she always fed into to my dreams. Like I remember, I think I was like seven or uh, I think I was seven. And I have this picture, it's a glamour shot picture back then when glamour shots was, um, you know, the bomb. Uh, she took me and I remember they, they asked me, you know, what is it that you want to look like in the pictures? And I was like a rich old lady. Praise God. <laughs> I knew at seven years old that I was going to be a rich old lady. So I was like, you know what? I, I want to I wanna wear a hat and, and I'll post the picture. Um, I'll post the picture. I'll try to post the picture in this video when I upload it on YouTube. So if you want to see it, you can go on YouTube, Lord and Esme on YouTube. But I knew at an early age that I was going to be wealthy. And I'm not talking about wealthy only in finances. I'm talking about wealthy in the word of God, because I dropped out in ninth grade and I knew like I knew that the only way I was going to be successful was if I, you know, was it with God, because many of us take for granted the talents that we have, the air in our lungs. We take for granted our health, um, especially our talents. I always say like when you're elevated and stuff, you know, all of it, most of it comes from God. It's up to you to discern because the enemy knows what you want to. He knows what you want to and he will use you know, something that you want or you ask for, he'll, he'll present you with a, a, I say a fugazi, but it's, um, what's the word, my love, when something's fake? Invitation. Invitation, but it's something with, there's another word. My husband's there. Um, I say a fugazi because it's like a purse or like, like a fake Louis. He will, uh, what's the word? It's with an F. I get, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll present um, an invitation of something that you've been praying for. And you'll learn if it was from God or not after you get it. And, and I'm going to tell you that it's very, it can, it can be confusing. I rebuke confusion, Lord, in the name of Jesus. But it can be confusing because you can pray for something, you get it, and you can do everything right with it, and you can still be at the verge of losing it. However, you're not losing it. The enemy wants to cause confusion because what you have planted into what God has given you, it's going to reap a harvest. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to grow, but it's up to you 
to, to focus on what God has called you to focus at that exact time. You know, plant where he's called you to plant, split from where he's called you to split like a banana and invest where he's called you to invest. And it's very, very important that you're really one with God because, you know, I realized too, especially with the responsibility, like when I was, I, 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 it got really rough in, in my season to where I took a week off. And what I realized is that um, people were messaging me and texting me and telling me, you know, hey, you know, we haven't seen you. Are you okay? And I was just like, uh, you know, but that's where God convicted my heart. And even with the makeup right now, God has convicted my heart that you're talented, Esme. You know, I may not do that wing liner as perfect as some other YouTube uh, makeup artists. However, Esme, you do that wing liner the way you know how to do the wing liner and I will do the rest. And that right there is complete transparency because that damn wing eyeliner has always been something that I'm very insecure about. And I remember there was a season where I would do that wing eyeliner and it was like perfect. And then I stopped. But this is right here, word right here. What is it that God has given you to do and you feel that you have been become like rusty in it? Good morning, queen. Thank you for your time. <laughs> um, you know, that wing eyeliner for me has always been something that threw me off. It made me insecure where I felt like, oh, because I can't do wing eyeliner good. Therefore, I don't think I'll be, you know, a very good makeup artist or a YouTube influencer. But I will tell you that I'm a good blender. <laughs> I'm a good blender. I can blend that eyeshadow. I can blend that heartache. I can blend those things that the Lord has given me to blend. I can blend right now this word. I dropped out in ninth grade. I don't, I know where my wisdom and my education and my knowledge comes from. The Lord and me have blended. In the process of me blending what he's given me, he's given me a lot of talents. And I know, you know, many people say, oh, she's doing this and she's doing this and she's doing this. You know what? I can't help that I'm talented. The Lord has. And I just want to plant everything he's called me to plant. And if I can speak, I'm going to speak. If I can do makeup, I'm going to do makeup. If I can blend, I'm going to blend my word, my life that the word that the Lord has given me. I'm going to blend it with y'all. So whatever talents, whatever the Lord has given me, I'm blending it everywhere that I'm speaking. I'm blending it. And I may get on some people's nerves. <laughs> but then again, there's some people that, you know, they love me. And I'm not here to be liked or loved. But if you do love me, I God bless you. I love you too. But I will tell you that the, the gifts that the Lord has given me, you know, they, they, they've been, they, they come with sacrifice. Things have been taken from my life that I value dearly. But I know it's only for a season. And I know that the enemy is not, he, he's a liar. He's a liar. And I want you to know that if you bake, Felicia, you bake with all your heart. And wherever it is that you lack, the Lord will come in and be your strength in that weakness. So whatever it is that you do, whatever it is you feel that you are lacking, God is going to use that because I can't do wing eyeliner too good right now in the name of Jesus. I probably can if I really put my mind to it, but I can blend. <laughs> and as you can see, look at, the, look at the blending here. See, I can blend. Look at the eyeshadow. I can blend. I blend my Nova Lash skills. I blend the Holy Spirit and I created a lash line. I blend the Holy Spirit and with what I like in clothes and I create my own clothes. You got, you got whatever you need right now. I love you too, Tony. Thank you for loving, loving my friend. I know it's difficult loving a woman that's been hurt so much. Believe me, I know. But I will tell you that whatever it is that you're doing, blend the Holy Spirit with it. You know, the word today was uh, the truth of creation part four. And I went somewhere else with it. But I will tell you, fish cannot be a horse. A squirrel can't be a bird. But humans, as it says, we are the ones that can look at the Grand Canyon and say, wow, our Lord is magnificent. But we can also look at whatever talent you have. I was listening to a sermon and he said, some of us are mysterious. Some of us are, some of us are quiet. But I will tell you, my husband is very, very quiet. <laughs> and he won me over. He didn't have to speak. His actions spoke way louder than anything. And because his actions were consistent with what God told me what love is, that's how he won my heart. And above all, not my heart. He won my, my purpose to unite together, to build and create what he called us to create. And I would not be able to make these videos or make any videos at all without the Lord putting in his heart to create a world for me to birth what God called me to birth. So I will tell you that whatever it is that you're thankful for, 
there's someone behind you holding you up and creating that world. He said, no, he's used to it. <laughs> Don't get used to a new Tony. Um, however, I pray that this word bless you. I did not expect to get so emotional as I did. And um, I'm, I'm going to be putting like 45 minutes to an hour before I go live so I can give y'all a heads up because I'd be recording all selfishly starting without y'all logging on. And I'm sorry, forgive me for that. But thank you for the time that y'all have invested. And I'm going to tell you, I went yesterday on my Instagram and I was there forever. And I was just looking at what I used to follow and what I'm following now. And you have to be checking yourself. You have to be checking like, what am I following? Is it feeding what God wants you to feed in this season? Or is it distracting? As you said, Felicia. So whatever it is right now that, that you're doing, what you got from this word, I pray in the name of Jesus that my transparency transforms your life because I'll tell you that wing eyeliner, now that I think about it, that wing eyeliner made me good at other things. And because of that, yeah, my makeup looks good, but that's blended with the Holy Spirit. So whatever it is that God called you to do, blend the Holy Spirit with it. Blend God. Wake every day and surrender and submit everything to him. Even if you're frustrated with someone, submit them, submit that issue right there to God. Because I will tell you what you think that you can fix, God can do miraculous things. I will tell you if your, your, your loved one is getting on your nerves, tell the Lord like, oh my God, this is getting on my nerves. And I will tell you, the Lord will handle it. The Lord will handle it or he'll, <laughs> or no, this is what he does. He's going to create a softened heart in you to deal with it. That's what he usually does. He's not going to deliver you from it. I'm going to tell you right now. That's that's a free one right there. But I pray that y'all are blessed. I thank you for your time invested. I never want to take for granted that y'all look forward to these videos. Truly, it's an honor. And um, Lord and Esme is doing uh, makeup tutorials. <laughs> Once a week, I'm doing a makeup tutorial. Um, I'm trying to keep them about an hour. Um, and I'm doing a Bible study, study with a makeup tutorial because I have been kind of rusty in areas that I'm doing makeup. So I want to learn. Let's learn together. <laughs> I'll go live um, when I when God provides me or I make the time. I'll go live so we can do this together. But it usually takes about an hour. And what's crazy is that I have been dragging these videos on like not on purpose. It was just happening. And I remember I was like, Lord, I need to get these videos in like 15 minutes or less. And it's crazy because you could give God like what you want. And he's gonna, like throw it back at you like no this is what I want <laughs> but uh God's good he's good and I will tell you that yes I know my videos have gotten shorter um but I know that they're more impactful so thank you so much for your time if you feel free and led to share this video please do because if they bless your life be a blessing to others seriously like I I get word and then I'm studying I'm taking notes and I'm like okay I need to bring it to to the people that are listening to I need to bring it to the kings and queens my royalty family and y'all are my family y'all are my royalty family we are heirs of God's riches glory and health and I'm going to end in prayer right now. My nose is very runny. Excuse me. I'm sorry. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you. We seal this word, Lord. I thank you for this prophetic that you have given me, this prophetic word, Lord, to give to others. I pray that everyone that is under the sound of my voice, Lord, that they see the gift or gifts that you have given them and they do not take them for granted and that they use that gift and blend it with you, Father, the Holy Spirit, Lord, so you can do some miraculous with it, that you can give miraculous signs and wonders, healing, deliverance, freedom. I pray that they will bring generations generational cursings of poverty in their life and they will create they are creating generational wealth give them ideas and strategies of what to do with that gift or gifts lord for them to increase father in influence in territory to increase as their family father as unity to give them peace restoration in the mighty name of jesus i thank you for creating uh, for giving us the wisdom and knowledge insight clarity um, insight, revelation, wisdom beyond our years of age to create what you have called us to, to create in this world and to be what you have called us to be in this world and to blend the Holy Spirit in our lives with others, to encourage, to give grace, to um, be silent where you call us to be still and silent in the mighty name of Jesus and strengthen us, encourage us. And Father, above everything, Lord, just just give us that that courage to speak where you call us to speak, speak holy or righteousness unto others even where it's very uncomfortable lord i pray that you give them strength because that word that creation that that create what you created them to create lord is a solution and it is a prayer that is answered to someone in their life we are all answered prayers walking around we are all solutions by the blood of jesus i pray in the name of jesus that this word blesses you i thank you for your time and above all i just thank you for your time i'm extremely deeply appreciative of your time because time we can not get back and i pray that whatever it is that you invest into listening to me 
I pray that the Lord just blends it in you and that you go and you be a blessing to others. If it's just to share this video, share this video. If it's to give a smile, give a smile. If it's to make a video, make a video. You can do everything through Christ who strengthens you. And Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you to give you prosperous future, to not harm you, but to give you hope in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone needed that word. So thank y'all. God bless y'all. I love y'all so, so much. And if you want to see uh, my life-changing content or uh, Bible and beauty techniques, everything that the Lord has laid in me to share, please uh, go to my Lord and Esme YouTube channel. And I'm going to um, share the link on this. on this, Or you can find, I think, the link in my bio. Because I have uh, Lord and Esme Prophetics. And I that's my, my clothing line, which I have clothing line for y'all that don't know. I have t-shirts right now that are prophetic. <laughs> They're prophetic to bless your life and to bless, who, bless whoever reads it. And I also have my lash brand which is what we lord and esme have uh the holy lash collection which today i'm wearing the esme and i did make a video today on how to apply them and even if you don't know how to do eyeliner at times i've learned tricks on how to look like you're wearing eyeliner so i'll, I'll put that video up on my lord and esme beauty salon because i also have a beauty salon i do beauty services um in san antonio or bernie if you need beauty services i do haircuts blowouts there's a lot that I do, but above all, the one thing that God has shown me is that I must be, I must share God's word and advance God's kingdom in everything that I do. So that's why Lord and Esme is, um, got the prophetic clothing line and it's got my holy lash collection. Um, and it's also got my beauty salon, um, that I do beauty services and counsel. Uh, it's like Dr. Phil while I'm doing haircuts and stuff. So if you want beauty services or you need beauty services for you, your mom, I have gift cards and I also have my eyelashes, great stocking stuffers and great um, gifts. And they're great to encourage someone. They're great to encourage all my lashes. They have um, scriptures in the back. So I don't want to get off the subject, but have a blessed day. I love y'all. I pray that y'all are protected. I pray that y'all have much peace and prosperity in every day of your life, in every moment, in every hour. In the mighty name of Jesus, remember that God is at work. You were created to create and reign responsibly, kings and queens. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. God bless.